Hello, my name is Livia Hurley and I'm an architectural historian and a design fellow at the School of Architecture in University College Dublin. In 2018, I was very privileged to have been part of the team who were responsible for putting together the Venice Biennale of Architecture under the curatorship of Yvonne Farrell and Shelley McNamara of Grafton Architects, who were based in Dublin. I wrote about the architects and their winning of the World Building of the Year Prize in 2008 for the publication Modern Ireland in 100 Artworks, published by the Royal Irish Academy in partnership with the Irish Times. And I'm going to read that essay for you now. In February 2009, Grafton Architects' new faculty at the Bocconi University in Milan was announced as a finalist for the Distinguished Mies van der Rohe Architecture Award. Grafton were the first Irish practice ever in the shortlist of, uh, of five contenders. The award eventually went to Norway, but the Bocconi faculty had already been recognised as a winner when it was claimed the inaugural World Building of the Year Prize the previous year. This accolade marked the end of a buoyant era for Irish architecture before the lights went out in a profession that would be decimated by the Irish banking and property collapse of 2008. Grafton had won the building commission at Bocconi through an invited international competition. And while there's nothing really unusual about foreign achievements in the global architectural arena, in the history of Irish made architecture abroad, its successful com completion and prestigious prize is truly a first. The panel chose Grafton's scheme for its ability to capture the essence of the city in a confident contemporary form, which connects directly with its urban context. The Università Commerciale Luigi Bocconi, founded in 1902, is one of Italy's leading colleges of business, economics and law, and is deeply enmeshed in the mercantile and social fabric of Milan. Its early 1940s building form designed by Italian rationalist Giuseppe Pagano is a tightly articulated cruciform arrangement with open colonnades supporting its blocks. Its modernist ideologies would not be overlooked by the Irish architects, nor would its engagement with the street. For their own faculty building, Grafton drew on several Milanese sources. From the walkway above the roof of the Duomo, to Il Broietto, the former civic hub, and from the city's courtyards and its seppo stone, favoured by modernists and ultimately used to cloud the new building. The result is a very Milanese monument, a tough shell with a translucent interior. Suspended within a series of massive beams, three floors of luminous academic offices fragment the space in between to create courtyards, gardens and light wells. Beneath them, a stone flagged open area allows the city to seep through as the space plunges into a vast cavern from where a thousand seater Aula Magna breaks forth. Its cantilevered wall hovering above a transparent frontage to connect directly with its context in what the architects call a window to Milan. Grafton Architects were established in Dublin in 1978 by Yvonne Farrell and Shelley McNamara. They were members of Group 91, the collaborative that planned the winning scheme for Ireland's first really significant urban regeneration at Temple Bar in Dublin. Grafton evolved as the city evolved, as Ireland shifted from an agricultural to a modern knowledge economy. Farrell and McNamara belong to a generation of Irish architects emerging in that period who embraced the intelligence of modernism while rejecting those aspects of postmodernist theory which reduce architecture to a mere stage set. Their work at Bocconi pays testament to that background. It is the product of years spent developing a specific architectural language and a re-evaluation of a sense of place. Its inclusion alongside Milan's other monuments, the Duomo, the Galleria, the Central Train Station, was endorsed by Stefano Casciani, editor of the influential Italian architecture journal Domus, who concluded that Milan desperately needed a high quality piece of architecture like Bocconi in order to reinstate its status 
as one of the great modern cities. Grafton would go on to be awarded the Silver Lion in the Venice Biennale in 2012 and numerous awards for the University of Limerick's Medical School and then further competitions uh, wins for university faculties in London, in Toulouse, in France and in Lima, in uh, Peru. I should add that since the writing of my uh, piece for the publication, the architects have uh, won the Royal Gold Medal and also the Pritzker Prize um, for 2020. The Pritzker Prize honours uh, significant contributions to humanity and the built environment um, through the art of architecture. This makes Yvonne Farrell and Shelley McNamara the fourth and fifth woman to ever receive this prize, which has been awarded annually since 1979.